Hey guys, so today we will be creating this beautiful look. I wanted to do some more fall looks using some browns and some new things that I just recently got, like the Pat McGrath Brown Seduction palette, and I thought you guys would love it. So let's keep watching and let's get started. So I'm going to be starting off with a P. Louise um, shade number three primer, and we are applying this all over my lid using a Sigma flat concealer brush then we're grabbing the Laura Mercier translucent powder and we're setting that with a fluffy large Sigma brush this is just so the shadow won't crease or move or I don't sweat it off but still they never come off and then we're using the Bronze Seduction, and I am grabbing the lightest shade first. And we're going to be grabbing this Morphe brush and just applying it from the crease and moving it up to my as my transition. Then I'll be grabbing this small shader brush and just focusing the same color into my crease. Then I'll be grabbing this other Pat McGrath palette and I'll be grabbing the warmer shade just because I want to warm up the crease a little bit more. It's not warm enough for me. <laughs> and we're just going to be focusing that from the crease and a bit above the crease. Looking in every direction, making sure everything is nice and even. Then grabbing that same palette again in the darker shade from Bronze Seduction and we're grabbing that same brush. So we're going to be applying the shade from the crease and a little bit above. Just making sure everything is nice and blended. And then just grabbing that brush that I used before with my transition shade and we're just re-adding it. And then grabbing this number 8 brush from Natasha Denona and grabbing that plum shade from the Bronze Seduction palette. I am just deepening up my outer corner and moving that shade to the mid part of my eyelid. And then grabbing that brown that I used in my crease, we're just going to diffuse that plum so it looks seamless all over. I'll be grabbing the P. Louise primer in number two with this brush I got at Michael's. And I just love rounding it up. We're going to do a easy cut crease. Using this Natasha Denona, I love filling it in. It just makes the job easy. It's nice and rounded, so I don't have to work hard or use different brushes. And then just cleaning it up with that Michaels brush. And using the Bronze Seduction palette again, and then starting from light to dark on my lid, I am going to be doing like a cut crease like I mentioned before, but we're also going to be covering it with glitter. So adding the glitter is optional, or you can leave it matte. And I'm grabbing that plum, just diffusing those two colors, making sure you don't see any harsh lines of the primer. See the difference? And then grabbing the lightest shade from that palette, and we're grabbing this Natasha Denona flat shader brush, and we're just shading from the inner, inner corner to the mid lid. I'm 
Now, this is the part that is optional. You can leave it matte or you can add some glitter because I am extra. I love glitter. Now, this color will not add color to the shadow underneath. It is just a topper, which is so beautiful. It's like a pink topper. And I love applying it with my finger or a small shader brush. And as you can see, no shadow fallout with these eyeshadows. They're amazing. So as you can see, I did not do any uh, foundation steps or contouring. I did want to just focus on eyes and just cater to those that always want to see more eyeshadow looks and how I create my looks. But yeah, guys, that is all. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow my Instagram. I'll put everything down below. But thank you again so much for watching. That is it.